enter the world of biohacking. I feel amazing, uh, you know, mentally and cog cognitively, like, like a stoic. Uh, I wake up every morning feeling like the Hulk. People like Ramsey, who's testing out a machine which steadily takes the body to air conditions you'd expect at high altitude, believe in using all the information and modern technology available to optimize human performance. Most people who've heard of biohacking think of electronic chips inserted under the skin, cyborg stuff. But here, they're promoting a wearable ring to measure the body. The movement is trying to make itself more mainstream and accessible. That can be like nutrition and diet, that can be taking a sauna, that can be just meditating, that can be injecting yourself with stem cells or something like that. So all of those things are examples of biohacking. You're changing your physiological state in order to achieve a certain goal. And while most of us probably don't get enough sleep, the biohackers say there's vibration technology to help. We affect the nervous system by calming down the sympathetic side, the fight and uh, fleet side. So basically, when you calm that down, the sleep comes naturally. You don't have to take any pills or anything. So one of the products here at the Biohacking Summit is the V-Light Neuron. And uh, I'm going to give it a go with Gennady. Uh, Gennady, tell me, what is this? All right, so this is photobiomodulation device. So this is internal applicator. It goes inside your nostril like that. and then. Uh, Headpiece goes on top of your head. The light rays being pumped onto my head and up my nose are intended to increase oxygenation in the blood and boost performance and happiness. But at well over 1,500 euros, these devices aren't cheap. Some biohackers use blood tests to regularly check their liver function. But one of the most controversial aspects of biohacking is DNA testing and optimization. The medical community is still cautious and there are concerns about the data that's harvested by companies. They say there's nothing to worry about. We're looking at a few SNPs, a few genes, a hundred, nothing. So we can't use that information for anything more than delivering information back to you as the consumer or the customer. It's not all so technical. Getting in a sauna and then a four degree Celsius bath is enough for some biohackers. But in the ever evolving technological world we live in, these guys think they're the future. Jack Parrott, Euronews, Helsinki.